So as you come into your downward dog, really look physically at your hands. Physically look at your hands. Press the inner uh, inseam of your hand. It's the space between the first finger and the thumb. You just kind of internally shift some weight into that space. And then plug in your first two fingers, the uh, knuckle and the uh, base of the finger. Press them right down. Now lift your pinky fingers up off the floor. Yep, so it's this kind of inward rotation there. And then bring your thumbs in, yeah. And then let your head, as you exhale, let your head drop where your uh, gaze is right at the back of your mat in the space between your two feet. Inhale, easy. And exhale. Now do this, inhale, hold the breath. When you exhale, you're gonna let it go like you've dropped suitcases on the ground. We move out that initial first breath. Then we sip the inhale. And then we drop that like it's just extra luggage, extra carry-ons, just that aren't needed right now. Walk, feet to your hands. Place your palms on your hips. And then with your palms on your hips, uh, right in the front, you're going to take your uh, thumbs right into your hip crease. And you're going to find that space. So your knees are bent. You're going to find that crease between the uh, hips and the thigh. The thumbs peel the hips, inner thighs back, just away from one another. Halfway lift. Inhale. Push your butt back. Slowly fold forward. Exhale. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Deep, deep bend in your knees. And let your breath just keep flowing out. Where it's like your breath says, I'll flow out myself. Just and your mind steps aside, steps to the side, or steps to the side of the road. And let your breathing in and your breathing out work on just clearing mind. Listen to the breath sound that you audibly hear in this room within yourself, and let that work on your mind for you. And then your forward bend is really starting to give a little wake up to the back of the legs, but not so jarring. So that's why the knees are bent. And every exhalation, your upper body is being uh, empowered to let go, to let go. And let your head let go. Let, your, let the crown of your head start melting toward the floor away from your middle back. You don't do it. You just are in a space to allow it. Let yourself sway gently side to side. Just feel your weight shifting from one foot to the other and the hips really fluidly swing side to side. Bring your palms to the ground. Gently, don't step back in a giant way. Take baby steps to find your downward dog. Take baby steps back there. Look at your feet. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. So the width of your hips gets your feet that wide. And then turn your heels away from one another. Nice. And empty the breath where it's like... Your mind steps out of the way and the breathing just starts to flow. Take your heels really high as you breathe in and let your heels release themselves. Just move the breath through. In with the breath to freshen up your mind with the inhalation, with the oxygen. And exhale. Exhale. The fuzzy, the foggy, the tired, the 
or just stagnant energy that we all carry. We all walk in with it into yoga. Teachers too. That's why teachers have to practice what they teach <laughs> by physically practicing. I practice what I preach. Also, I know what it feels like to begin the practice. doesn't always feel so great, but I don't attach to that. I kind of acknowledge it and let it pass through. Tightness in the legs, I acknowledge it and let it pass through. Because there's always a shift. Walk, feet to your hands. Find a flat back, inhaling. Bring your palms higher up your legs, and that lifts your chest for you. Take your hands a little higher. The arms are straight. Straighten them. And the chest lifts. I'm coming up here. And then tuck. Yeah. A little bit higher with the head. There you go. Now bend your knees more and push your glutes straight back toward, like you're going to stick them to the front grill of the cars. <laughs> Fold forward. That's an excellent length to the spine, by the way. All the way up. Let your inhale lift you. Let your inhales uplift your mind, uplift your physical energy, and then pour forward. All the breath moves out. All the breath moves out, and the knees are bent to take and bring ease to the low back and hamstrings. You just got started. Do this in a way that brings ease. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Move your shoulders down toward your hips. Step back on the exhalation to down dog, but take your time going back to down dog. Feel your feet. Walk your feet to your hands. Walk your feet back just to feel what it is to move. That's all. Lift your heels super high. And as you breathe out, let your hips be breathed over to the right wall. Take your inhale with the heel super high back to center. And as you breathe out, let your he uh, hips be breathed over to the left side. So the breath becomes your uh, kind of t your um, navigator, your instructor. Breathe in back to center. Right leg up in the air. Exhale, lunge the right foot forward, right between both hands. Sweep that foot, bring it through, land it on the floor in front of you. So not the knee, the foot, just step the foot between the hands. Turn your back foot flat. Open that foot out to the side edge more, a lot more. Yeah, bring your right hand inside your right leg. And just open up your torso, arm op up in the air, out breath opens you, peels you back a little bit. Right hip peels back toward the parking lot. So you take this hip this way, yeah. And this is more in line with the knee. As you exhale, bring the upper hand to the floor. Take that left hand down, open up your chest to the right wall, right arm to the ceiling. Turn your back heel out a little bit, out a little. Nice. In with the breath. Gently exhale and your, your body will twist itself. <sighs> Practicing as though your personality mind decided to move over to the side of the, uh, along the wall. And watch what the body is capable of doing and bringing itself through as just no big deal. Exhale, bring the upper hand to the floor. Shift back to downward facing dog. Heels lift really high. Exhale them down. Left leg up in the air. Oh, other, other left. <laughs> there you go. Use your exhalation, though, to sweep the foot forward to the front edge of your mat. Foot, so just like you did. Yep, walk it over. Nice. Push through your back heel some. And then turn your torso to the left. Left arm to the ceiling. 
Inhale. Exhale, upper hand down on the floor inside your front foot. Inhale, the other side. Open it up to the right. Out breath to peel the chest, the upper lung. Just roll it back to the wall directly behind it. Just feel what it is to get that twist. Inhale. Exhale, upper hand right to the floor. Downward dog. In with your breath. Out all the air, just moving along because there's no thought that got in the way. The more we breathe in a nice, even, easy way, fluid, physically and mentally and emotionally, everything starts to also come into that same fluidity. And then we practice yoga and we access that. We retrieve it in here and then we take that fluidity and that flow of mind, body, spirit into our day. Breath in. Breath out. And as you're really present, mind, body, spirit, on Memorial Day weekend, you'll be really present to memories you can create this weekend. Walk, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Forward, fold, empty out. Head drops. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms to the sides. Palms meet at the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Let this exhale just move along nice and easy. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Pause. Exhale where it goes to the end at the bottom of the lungs but please give a pause at the bottom of the lungs. Then the inhale at the top, pause for a moment. Let it all move out. Pause it at the end. Then the inhale just arrives. Pausing, empty out. Let there be a pause at the end, it's just for a moment. Just a pulse of a pause. Move it all out. And we're going to open up this class with an om so that we invite in the sacred energy, the yoga gods, and just that really high-powered vibration of grace, infusing, igniting our spirit once again. Inhale. Ah. Thumbs to the forehead center. Trusting that that spirit watches out for us and knows everything that's happening inside us and in our lives. And it says, I really have your back. I know what's happening. I know the situations. And I will not let you fail. And you will not be failed by me. Just trust, move into that space. So let your mind move closer to that. Inhale, reach up. Fingers are stretching, but the toes are rooting. Soles of the feet rooting, folding on the exhalation. You fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. On the exhalation, shift to downward facing dog. Shift forward on the inhalation to plank position. And squeeze the thighs up against the hamstrings. Exhale, lower halfway only. Shoulders only come down to the level of elbows. Upward dog. Really allow your chest to fan open. Really let the breathing move itself out, downward facing. In with the breath. 
out of it. In with the breath. Out of it. Walk, feet to your hands. Find a flat back, inhale. Let there be a pause at the top of the lungs with the breath. Let there be an exhale and let there be a pause when you find the forward fold. The breath moves out to the bottom of the lungs and there's a slight pause. Then there's an inhale all the way up top. Your legs firm up and your tailbone drops toward the floor. And then there's an exhale where it just moves itself freely. And there's a slight pause. Then there's an inhale halfway up. Slight pause on the breath. Exhale, step to plank position. In your high plank, breath in. Rock forward on the balls of the feet. Empty the breath out. In, upward dog. Let the inhale ignite and lift the chest up off the ground. Let the shoulders move back and let the spine come closer to the heart. Downward facing. All the air moves out. Take a breath in. Let that go. Pause the breath. Pause it. Empty it. At the bottom of the breath, pause it. Slowly fill up. Gentle pause. Slowly release it. At the end, gentle pause. Walk feet to your hands. Halfway up. Let the exhalation move along, fold forward, chin down into the chest. Push the heels of the feet into the floor, all four corners of the feet, in fact, rise up. Forward fold, deep bend in both knees. Bend the knees more. There you go. Lift halfway, breath in. Hands plant to the floor. Move back into down dog. And when you're ready to take breath in, rock your body weight forward to high plank. Look forward. Look out here. We're always looking down. And there's a tendency for our mind to get pulled down. So look forward. So your mind says, I'm looking forward to what's coming forward. Rock forward lower. Elbows hug to the sides. Nice. Up facing where the bottom tips of your shoulder blades gently hug the mid spine. Down facing, hips are being pulled way back. Thighs are being pulled back. In breath at the top, pause the breath. Let go. Feet to your hands. Halfway up. Let go of the breath and the upper body. Let's go right into a fold. All the way on up. Let there be a slight pause. All the breath out. Press your chest to the thighs. Head dropping. Halfway lift. Inhale. Get your core hugged in right now and leave that core activated. Step to plank position. In plank, push straight down through your arms and take your shoulders towards your hips a little bit. Yeah. Rock forward, empty out the breath at the end of the lungs, pause. In breath, upward. Oh, breath downward. We come to yoga to get strong and flexible, but also to give ourselves some breathing room. We start to recognize how we've been really boxed in holding the breath, walling it off. And as a result, we are in a space of contraction. And so our mind is real apt to be in a space of contraction with our thinking. So let yourself have expansive exhalation so that you can bring expansion to mind and expansion of awareness to your physical body. And just breathe and move. Just get in your body, breathe and move. It always feels better. Residing in our head, and if our thoughts don't feel good, then we don't feel good. 
but breathing, moving along, opening things up, stretching, that feels good. Walk, feet to your hands. Lift halfway, inhale. Forward fold, empty. Bend your knees a little, but shift your hips back and sweep those arms up. Palms come uh, facing each other. And then sit your uh, heels into the floor a little more and let your hips descend a little more. Feel your thighs start pressing toward each other, not so they touch, but so they're active. Now pull your lower belly in and up. Nice. Now try to straighten your arms right up. Exhale, chest to thighs. Wrap your arms around the backs of your legs. And then inhale, halfway up. Pull the spine forward. Push your butt back. Hug in your core, high plank. Rock forward, low plank. All the breath, let it go. Upward dog, breath in. Down facing, empty out. Push the hips way back, head drops. Right foot, big step forward. Bring your uh, back foot flat. Rise up on the inhale, warrior one. Find the outer edge of your back foot, press it toward the parking lot so the inner ankle gets lifted. Back thigh squeezing, and then straighten your right leg. Straighten it. Feel your tailbone just shift a little more toward the back heel. Feel your lower belly pull in and up, and feel how when you activate your core, you get lighter. So you want to pay attention to your core and recognize, like, man, it can really help you out. Breathe in, press your right knee forward, press it open, bring your palms together over your head, a very gentle back bend as you breathe out. Take in a breath, pull in your core, bring your hands to the floor, out breath, high plank, in breath, rock forward, out breath, in breath, Upward dog, where you're uplifted through the chest because you rooted through the hands and arms. Downward facing. Left foot moving it forward. Get conscious of your back foot. Feel your back foot turn flat. Feel your back leg say, I got you. And then rise up with your inhale taking you up. Your eyes are going to plant on one place. You're going to straighten your front leg again. And you're going to tilt your tailbone toward your back foot. Then you're going to bend your knee. And you may not be able to bend as much. In fact, you don't have to bend so much. And you'll feel that pull in that hip flexor probably. Breathe. That's why you want to plant your eyes. So when sensation comes up, you ride it out. You recognize it and you move it along. Like you're a traffic cop and you're moving the cars along. Breath in. Bring your palms together. Breath out. Bending back through the upper body. Breathe in where you feel your chest rising. And let your exhale bring you strongly, solidly to the floor. High plank. Hug in your core. Low plank. Core pulled in. Upward dog. It's as if your hips and heart Pull gently forward and your shoulders say, I'm moving out of the way. Down facing. In breath. Out with it. Hug your core in. So when your air gets out, <sighs> zip your core right in. Walk, feet to your hands. Core is pulled in. Inhale, let your core out. Out breath, pull your core in, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. Sit your hips down. Out breath, heart to your thighs. In breath, halfway. Move the shoulders back. Step back, core pulled in, high plank. Activate your core, tilt your tailbone towards your heels, thighs lift. Rocking forward, move the chest right through here. Upward dog, let the heart and hips gently pull and press here. Down facing, 
head just drops. Let your head drop. The more you get into breath, the more your thoughts drop. Breathe in and let there be a pause. Exhale. At the bottom, let there be a tiny pause. Uh, right foot stepping forward. All the way up, palms come together. All the air out, hug in the core, hands under the shoulders, high to low plank. Keep looking out there. Upward dog, keep your eyes on one place. Let your eyes fall off that place, form a straight line right through the center of your mat until they rest between the feet. Left foot stepping. Use your next inhalation to rise up to warrior one. Left leg. See your palms. Physically see them. Bring your hands to the floor. High plank. Low plank. Upward. Pull back, chest toward thighs, down facing. Let there be a pause at the end of the breath. Move it through. Let it stop. Nice, easy. Let it stop at the top. Let it go slow. Walk, feet to your hands. Flat back. Forward fold where you physically feel the chest dropping. All the way on up. Bend your knees. Heads to the heart, fold. Halfway up, breath in. Hug in your core, high plank. Keep your core pulled in, lift it. Hug it against the spine and it keeps you lifted. Rock forward, lower. Keep the core drawn in. Upward dog, root down through the palms. Downward facing, feel the quads press against your hamstrings. Tailbone lengthening toward the ceiling. Right leg up in the air on the in-breath. On the out-breath, rock the body weight forward, shoulders over the wrist, knee to nose, chin to chest. Lots of length. Kick the leg high out of the hip. Hug it in, knee to your nose. Kick up. Right knee to left elbow. Kick it up. Right knee, left elbow again. Be conscious. Lots of length. Be conscious of the leg stretching. Be awake to the leg pulling to the left elbow. Kick it up. Bend the upper knee. Roll it open. Lift this leg a little higher. Breath in. Feel this all peel open. Sweep that right foot through between your hands. Bring your foot to the floor, foot. Mm -hmm. Bring your back knee down, it's already there. Step that front foot forward to that right wrist. Yeah. Top of the back foot, let it rest on the ground. Rise up on your inhale. Feel your tailbone drop down toward the floor. Plug your foot, the four corners of the front foot, into the floor. Do you notice how it's really firmed up the leg? Great. Take cactus arms. Pressing your, the backs of your arms, your shoulders and your shoulder blades like they're against a brick wall. Let these shoulders soften. Let all this come down. Good. Feel the bottom tips of your shoulders. Gently hug to the mid-spine. Feel the tailbone lengthening so it irons out the back. Really good. Now bring your palms together. Go right into a twist. Left arm to the right thigh. Lift your chest up away from the ground. Excellent. Just move these shoulders out of the way. Nice. Let the spine come in. Nice. Do you feel that action? A lot more easier to breathe, right? And the shoulders really just took a step back. So think about this. Consciously bring your attention to your shoulder heads. Press them back. That's it. Notice how your breath just came right through nice and easy. <sighs> Bottom fingers to the floor. 
on the fingertips. Right arm, open it up to the sky. I want you to just keep breathing slow and easy. And let that start to open your mind like a skylight. And the more you exhale, the more that light from the window can expand. And we're talking about the skylight in your mind's eye. People that don't breathe, they don't have a lot of light. They have it, but it's kind of like under a bushel. So let your breathing out and just really make that skylight as big as you want. Take that upper hand, put it to the inside of your foot. Press that elbow, right elbow, inside your right knee. Squeeze that leg open just a little. You could always turn the toes open a little bit on the front foot. Now just open your chest to the left wall, left arm up. The sensations in the practice really keep putting us in our head as we feel how tight we are, we feel constricted. We can go right into how our thoughts are about that and then the feeling comes over us. But if you just breathe and you just recognize, oh, I'm just in tight spaces so I can move that stuck energy through, the way out is through. So stay with yourself. Staying with breath will allow you to empower yourself to stay with yourself. Release, upper hand down. Down facing dog, awesome job. Let all the air press out, and as you do, press your chest towards your thighs. Dump this one. Pause it. Inhale, easy. Hold that at the top. Pause it, then let go. Inhale, left leg high. Press down through your bottom heel just a little so you're in that bottom leg really engaged. Exhale, hug it in, knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, kick that leg up and up and up and up and up. Pull it in, knee to nose. Hug in your core, hug in your core. It keeps you lighter. Inhale, kick up, that's excellent. Hug it in to the right elbow. Lots of lengths. Hug it to the right elbow again. Kick up. Bend the upper knee, roll open. Upper foot is flexed. This leg lifts a little higher. This rolls open. Upper foot pressing. Out breath. Your hip rolls down. The foot comes right through to the uh, left hand. Bring the foot to the floor. There you go. Walk it over to the outer edge of your mat. Mm -hmm. Exhale softly your back knee to the floor. Top of the back foot rests. Inhale, turn your torso. Oh, actually, come up first. Come up first. Hands on the hips will help you steady as you bring yourself to steady upright. Yeah. Now get attention to your tailbone again. Lengthen it. Feel the shoulders roll back and down. Feel like your chest presses forward and the shoulders say, oh, I'm moving out of the way. Yeah. And then what happens if you turn your fingers out to the side? Like, so you're here, right? What if you just turn your fingers this way and can you get a little more opening as a result? Yeah. Ah, oh, slow your breathing down. Catch your breath. Excellent job. Inhale, arms all the way up. Cactus arms again. Bend the elbows. Squeeze the bottom tips of the shoulder blades together, but can you also now soften your front ribs towards your belly button? Yeah. Bring your palms together. Move right into the twist, but the exhale is just steamrolling you along into the twist. Press that bottom arm into the leg to lift the chest up. Your bottom arm is your root, so root down into it, and then the chest says, oh, I'm up. There you go. Now keep pressing your bottom lung toward that uh, left wind, uh, wall. Excellent. Now come on to the right fingertips on the floor. They're right underneath the shoulder. Open up the chest, left arm high. Out breath. Close your eyes. This exhalation, I want you to really be with it. 
feel it, leave it. And if there's more you're holding in, move it through at the end. Yes. Use that exhalation. Be with it. Like you're a fireman, just making sure it's out. Okay, slow it down. At the end, pause it. Move it through. Still in that twisting pose. Now inhale. Seamlessly transition. Upper hand comes to the inside of the front leg. And then open up the right arm. Open up through the right lung. Open up through the right side of your chest. Be with your body. Like, wow, this is fantastic. The body's celebrating. The mind says, oh, this is rough and blah, blah, blah. But the mind's like, oh, I'm open. It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. So go back into opening up. Go back into expansion. Not just as a physical. Let the physical work on the mental. And then you have a mental and a physical connection of a vision of opening and expansion, and it'll transform all of it. Bring the upper hand down to the floor. Downward facing dog. Get back to your fingers. Get back to your palms. Look at them visually. And then let your head, be conscious of how your head softly lets go. Let your inhale pull your head up away from the floor. Let your exhale soften it. Walk feet to your hands. Halfway up, breathe in. Forward fold, empty out. All the way on up. All the air moving out, arms come right down to the sides. Shoulders move out of the way again. Lower belly pulls in and up. Push your legs and feet through the floor. So there's a real solid rooted strength in the lower body as a foundation. Hands to the low back. Fingers face the ground. Really support the low back. To bend the knees a bit. Tilt the tailbone down toward the heels. Press the uh, hips and thighs forward. Let your chest lift. Hug your elbows toward each other. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Release the arms to the sides. Oh, take a drink. But sip it. <laughs> Don't chug it. How are you feeling? So, okay. You're supposed to hold it just for a second. I'm only asking you for a gentle pause, for a moment's pause. That's, how about that? Think of that in the mind's eye. A moment's pause at the top and at the bottom. Okay. Still feels closer together. Yeah. I don't know, today it just seems Your your breathing was constricted in your chest when you arrived. So what's happening is I'm gonna move that energy through and you're moving that energy through. Honestly, I'm kind of guiding that energy to move through and be in a space for allowance the constriction's going to show itself and you're going to feel it and that's when you get conscious and then go, okay, slow my breathing down. See, when the breath is constricted, there's kind of a, a, rap, a more rapid pace to it. Like we're fighting to get air, right? And all you're doing is fight. You're not even in a fight. You're in a surrender to let the exhale fully just go because you're done fighting it. Yeah, close your eyes and just bring awareness to your breath. And remember your inner witness. Let your inner witness teach the breath, reteach you a new rhythm of an inhale and an exhale. 
Slowing that breath down. Let it have its own rhythm. And as you keep focusing on the tail end of the exhales and just give them a moment's pause, the way the breath comes in doesn't come in as haphazardly, I guess, or erratic. And as you slow down those breath the exhalations and you smooth them out, the inhales come in a little more smoother and a little bit slower. Really good. Okay, how's that feel now? A little better? Okay. So it's not that you're rushing the breath out. In fact, that's the counter of what I'm trying to get you to do. I'm asking you to slow the exhalations down and let there be just a moment's pause at the end. The pause is so that the inhale doesn't come in in such a quick way that can really also stir things up inside. The more you slow the breath down, I mean, we're really going back to what we've always been told this since we were children. Take slow, deep breaths. But what I'm recognizing is we can't get deep breaths if we're really kind of packed in with our holding the exhalation. It's like that's all stuck in the lungs. So we move that through in a nice, gentle process. So then we slow down those exhalations. That really starts to where the parasympathetic nervous system starts to become more stimulated of calming and slowing down and soothing. And then the inhales come in and they don't come in as urgent. Like you're going to die if you don't get it. <laughs> so it's about slowing down the pace, which will start to calm down the mind, which will then put a real calming feeling over the body that you can physically feel. Does it feel a little better? Okay, awesome. So we want to bring the uh, area of constriction to attention because that's how you, because I just gave you a tool to work with the constriction and recognize, oh, I'm really not restricted. I can just let the breath come through nice and easy all the way. Let there be a moment's pause. So there's just a slight pause between the inhale and the exhale. And it's that pause that has everything to do with soothing our mind. And we'll feel that shift internally. Sweep the arms up. As you exhale, bring the arms down below shoulder level. And just take your arms and cross them in front of you. Bend your elbows. You're right into eagle arms. But look at your elbows and bring your elbows up. And press them. The forearms press away. And exhale the arms out. Sweep up. Let there be a tiny pause at the top. Use your exhalation to wrap again, right arm under. Yep, but if I were you, I'd let the arms come down because it's going to drop your shoulders down more. Wrap them in front of you, cross them. Then the elbows line up with the shoulders, and then you press the arms away from you. Now push your upper mid back like it's against a wall, and you should feel that great stretch through the shoulder blades. But this, the key for that stretch to happen in the rhomboids back here is to press the forearms. So then pressing it away fans open the back body. Really sweep up. Use a slow exhalation to let the arms come down. Let the arms cross in front of you like an X. The left elbow, left arms now under the right. Listen to the sound of my voice. The elbows lift up. The arms press away. Push your upper mid back away from you. And release on the out breath. Sweep up. Left arm comes under again. Press the upper mid back away. Press the elbows and forearms to the front wall. 
Close your eyes. Breathe into the space between the rhomboids. As you free up tension here, you expand space in the front lungs for breath. Release. Sweep up. Bring the right arm under. And then lift the right leg and squeeze it on top of your left thigh. Feel the tailbone coming down, thigh squeezing, up oh, and the spine is getting lifted and the shoulders say I'm moving out of the way. That's good. Release. Sweep up. Slight pause, slowly wrap up, left, uh, left arm, left leg. Eyes are on one place. The, uh, the right hip will have a tendency to swivel over to the left corner of the room. So just very slowly bring your belly button back to center. Nice. Exhale your bottom knee a little more. Bend it. In breath slowly. Release the arms. Arms go up. There's a slight pause at the top. Then the exhale, hands to the heart. Notice that your breathing is starting to come down off the high rise a little bit. Isn't that much easier to work with? Yeah. Opening this up is really key because then there's space in the front for the air to come in in a more relaxed way as opposed to a fight to get breath into this constricted space. Hands to the hips. Your right knee bends. You wrap your hand around the right knee or shin. Left elbow hugs to the side. Your bottom leg is your foundation, so let the foot be brought to your mind's attention. Let your bottom leg be brought to your attention. Squeeze it. Activate it. So you don't just think about the bottom leg. Your mind says, squeeze the bottom leg. Take your leg out in front of you. Open it out to the side a little bit. Even if there's a bend in the knee, that's fine. Pull the toes back. Push out through the heel and the ball of the foot. Pull the pinky toe on that right foot back towards your outer shin. Come back. Bring the foot to the floor. Left leg. Pull the leg up, but then pull in the belly. So you're using your core to support your physical balance. Left hand wraps around the knee. Squeeze it in. It's like you're squeezing towards your lower belly. Good. Hands to the hips. Exhale the leg out in front of you. Bend the knee. Swivel it out to the side. Right leg is an anchor. Come back. Exhale it to the floor. Inhale. Right knee up. Left hand slowly comes to the outside of the right leg. Right knee your thigh. Right arm extends out, but you don't want the arm high. You want it lower than shoulder level so it can neutralize the breath rather than have it be so labored. Your torso just is turning to the right wall. Your eyes are on one spot eye level. If your eyes droop down, your balance will be challenged. If your eyes are way up too high, your balance will be extra work. Eye level. Back to center, right foot into tree. Interlace your fingers over your head, slow movement but steady. You're taking your time, but there's a vision for where you're going. Breathe into your body. Exhale the arms down. Just keep your hands on your hips, stay in tree on the right foot. Get conscious of your inner left leg pressing a bit into your right foot. Bring that foot to the floor. Okay, left leg, hugs in. Right hand to the outside of the left leg. 
Left hand hugs the left hip. Torso slowly turns. Your bottom leg is strong, so get your toes pointed to 12. Squeeze your bottom leg. Even if you come out of the pose, no big deal. Set it back up. Now, this knee is a little higher than your hip, so drop it. Take this foot out in front of you and flex it so the knee and the ankle line up. There you go. Now turn your torso to the left. You could extend the left arm behind you if you choose. Yep, palm. So it's all one direction, shining to that wall. Nice work. Okay, come back to center. Bring that foot into tree. Arms go right up into a V. Slow your breathing really, really down. Pause it at the bottom. Very slowly let it rise up. Release the hands to the hips. Press the inner leg into the foot. Bring it to the floor. Bend your knees, sweep up. Out breath, pour. Halfway lift, in breath. High plank position on the out breath. Get your core pulled in. Rock forward, lower. Upward facing. Slowly move to down dog. Slow breath out. Yes, excellent. Slowly breathe in. Slowly move that out. Then right foot steps forward. Warrior one. Back foot presses. Back leg is an oak tree. Open up. Out breath. Right into warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Wrap your left arm around your uh, back. Low back. Reach up. Keep your arm around your uh, low back. Straighten your right leg. Reach out. Now take attention to your back foot and just open it up a little bit. Outer edge of the back foot rooted so the back leg is like an oak tree. And you're moving away from the oak, moving away from the root. And then right hand to the right thigh, high up the right thigh to keep the lungs elevated and roll open. Upper arm, wrap it around your back. Let the upper arm, upper shoulder soften on the out breath. Hug it into the mid back. Peel open out breath. Bring yourself right up to stand. All 10 toes face here. If it's possible, take your hands in a prayer behind your back. Either hands can face down, or hands can turn up. Try to press your palms together and move your elbows out of the way. Hips and thighs go forward. Out with the breath, slowly fold halfway and pause. Push your hips back, look out in front of you. Slowly exhale the rest of your way down. Outer edges of the feet, press them. Out breath, softening. Feet root down, rise up. As you come up, please bend your right elbow. So your right elbow is alongside your right ear. Take your left arm, spin it to the wall directly behind it, and then start to shimmy that bottom hand. Wiggle it up your back. Grab onto just your shirt. And just feel both shoulder blades hug toward the center line. Feel your chest get lifted. And folding, bring your mind, bring your conscious mind into your forward fold. As you're exhaling, you're going to hear the exhalation. It'll make you conscious to the movement that's happening in the moment. That seemed like a lot of words in my mouth. <laughs> but it's true, your breathing gets you conscious. Your breathing wakes you up. Your breathing gets you conscious to what you're doing. In this practice, 
And as you get more conscious on your yoga mat, you get more conscious throughout the day. What you put into your body, how much, what you're saying, who you're around, how it feels, blah, blah, blah. You just get awake. You're awake. You're awake in a vital way. Press your feet into the ground. Come on up. Keep the arm bind if you can. Use your exhale, everything first. On the out, down. Then use your inhale, very slow inhale to come on up. Keep the arm bind. Right toes face the front wall. Back foot steps right in. So the hips square up to the front wall. So you have the bind. Press the shoulder blades back into a center line. And your inner thighs are squeezing toward a midline too. So they're hugging toward each other. And the right hip, as you exhale, peels back. As you inhale, your eyes are really with what you're staring at. It's not a, it's not a uh, blank stare. It's very focused. It's very conscious. Folding forward. Over that leg, not over the floor. Press your big toe on the front foot into the ground. Press the outer edge of your front foot into the ground. Nice. Peel the right hip back some more. Now just take your left fingertips to the floor. Take your uh, attention to your right lung, right torso. Right arm goes up to the ceiling. Exhale, upper hand to the ground. Downward facing. Rock forward, high plank, hug in the core. Tailbone tilts toward the heels. Rock forward, low plank. Upward dog, nice easy breath in. Very slow but steady, move it through. Down dog. Warrior one, the left foot stepping into warrior one. Get conscious of your back foot. Rise up. Your exhalation opens you to warrior two. Your outer edge of your back foot pressing. Yeah. Then just take your back arm. Just gently hook it around your low back. Flip your left palm. Reverse your warrior. Really reach. Reach through the fingertips. Let your front knee bend forward a little bit more. Press it open to the outer edge of the toe. Yep. Pinky toe. Good. Now... Keep the arm bind, but straighten your front leg. And look right in front of you. And then reach out as far as you can. And feel that right hip pull in like it's going to press into the right wall. And then uh, front arm, front fingers rest on your front leg. Open up the back foot a little bit to create a little more space for your pelvis. Triangle. This bottom shoulder is pressing forward. Get conscious of this. And then you'll see, oh, here's my chance to open this up by pressing it back. Do you feel how that bottom lung is now open? Now please press the bottom shoulder forward again, well, toward the uh, right wall in front of it. Feel how that kind of just restricts you a little bit? Now this opens. And then this starts coming down. See, every practice, we start really coming piece by piece back to our natural alignment of our posture. And some of these places have been stuck for a long time while our mind's been elsewhere. <laughs> and then suddenly our body says, I wasn't kidding around. <laughs> and it acts out a little bit to get our attention with injury or illness, whatever. But you get conscious of it, and then you can work with it to come back into a more balanced alignment. Bring yourself all the way up. Ten toes. Get present again to the inner ankles of both of your feet. Look at them. Outer edge is pressing. Yep. Thigh bone squeezing. Muscles hug bone. Tailbone shifts down. Please take a prayer. Uh, hand position behind you. Get your tailbone lengthened toward the heels again. Let the front edge of your pelvis tilt up toward your ribcage. Folding 
halfway pause. Get conscious of your backs of your thighs and your glutes pushing to the wall behind it. Folding forward. Lift yourself up halfway. Shoulders, move them toward the hips. Bend the knees more to get the spine longer. Yes. Use your exhalation. Hug in your core right now. And then your exhalation puts you right into an organic fold. Let the middle of your head, the crown of the head, the soft spot, let it start sinking toward the ground. Yeah, good. Bring your hands to your hips. Exhale everything first while you're down there. Like empty your pockets on that and then there's space for open air to bring you up to stand. Left foot turns forward, back foot steps in. This time left arm goes straight up in the air. Bend the elbow alongside your left ear. Take your right arm, spin it to the wall behind you. Bend the elbow on the bottom arm. Wiggle it up. Just grab your shirt. Press your hips forward. Feel your inhale. Peel your uh, chest away from your belly button. Forward fold. Empty the breath. Left hip peels back. Bring your focus into your, right, into your thighs, your inner thighs. Feel them squeeze together so the foundation of lower body feels more stable. Let your head drop if it's comfortable. Your chin tucks into your chest. Neck, offer it some length. Offer it some length by letting go. Feet plug into the floor though. In with the breath. Out with it. Let your right fingers come to the floor. Be on the fingertips of the right. Now, your torso turns to the left wall, and the upper arm can go up to the ceiling into twisting triangle. Pull this hip up, this hip up, yep, up, and roll, yep. And you'll notice that you can't quite open as much. Turn all this open, so these fingers turn. You're exhaling every time you're opening up. Be mindful, can your bottom lung, bottom shoulder press toward the left wall? Bring the upper hand to the floor. High plank position, core in. Rock through, move the chest right through the arms. Upward dog. Downward facing. In with the breath. Plug the inner edges of your hands into the floor again. Let the thumbs be a little softer. Now shift weight back so much that it lifts you out of your wrists almost. Yeah. Is that okay? Feel your tailbone and hamstrings lengthen toward the ceiling. Walk it out. Bend your right knee, left leg straighter. Left knee bending, right leg straighter. Let your hips rock side to side as you bicycle it out with the feet. Be with your feet as they're moving. Put your mind to your movement. And that's your gateway back to present moment, into the now. And then bring yourself onto your back. Once you get onto your back, feet are separated hip width apart. Open out the arms like wings. Make sure the arms are lower than shoulder level. Let the shoulders, like they're just sliding right into the floor. They're melting all over the floor like pancake batter. Breath in. 
Let your exhalation drop your legs to the right. Let your chin gently move to your left shoulder. Feet stay hip width apart and then widen your feet apart more. So your pelvis says, oh, I have a little extra room, wiggle room. Create space where there isn't space or much space. You'll feel infinitely better. Inhale all the way up. Let your legs drop to the other side. Breath in. Let your mind get out of the way and just watch the breath move itself out. Inhale back up. Exhale, hug knees to chest. Flex the feet. Inhale, let there be space between the upper and lower. Hug in the belly, pull the legs to the chest again. Good. Bring your uh, feet flat, hip width apart. Let's take bridge. Anchor down through the feet. I want you to turn your heels out just slightly. Heel, get a little more. But now bring the toes in. So turn your feet more. Okay, find this outer edge, press into it. But don't let this all come off the floor. It's like just a little move, a little emphasis toward the outer edge of the foot. Bring your awareness to the center of each heel. This foot turns, turn the toes, the whole foot. Turn it this way. <laughs> there. Now, walk your feet under a little more towards you. Okay. Now, I'm telling you, you just moved your heels towards your uh, backs of your thighs a little more. But when you did that, you put more power into your legs. Now, I want you to walk this right foot, or left foot rather, just a tiny bit forward. But leave this one as it is. Now, push into all four corners of this foot. Feel how that really got your legs beefed up? <laughs> okay, feel how that left leg is not as engaged? So you have to keep that consciousness of your joints. Stack your joints, ankle joint under knee joint. So bring that left foot back a little more and get plugged in on both ends. All four corners of your feet, press down. Inhale, your hips and thighs high. Let your hips, tailbone lengthen toward the front of the room. Let your shoulders and arms press into the floor so your spine hugs into your heart and the heart pushes out toward your chin. Nice job. Exhale, slowly down. Long breath in. Pause it gently at the top. Exhale, all of it, mouth open wide. In breath, go on up. Root through the feet, all four corners of your feet. Feel all four corners of the feet. Tailbone lengthening, arm bones pressing, back of the head pressing into the floor too. Use your exhalation to come down. In with the breath, out with it. One more, maybe. <laughs> Bridge, and if you wanted, shift your left foot to the center and right leg, shoot it up in the air, right over your right hip. And if you can, take it straight up. Mm -hmm. Push through the foot, bottom foot. Nice. Feel how you lift it higher? Because you rooted into the uh, foundation of the leg. Bring that foot to the floor, other side. Get that foot. Pause. Bring this down for a moment. Get this foot a little more underneath you. And then push down and rise up. Left leg high. Push through the bottom foot to go higher. That's it. Kick up more by rooting down further and further into the ground. Release. Good work. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth wide. Exhale. Bridge pose. Again, this time, can you interlace your fingers underneath you? 
And if so, can you stretch your knuckles toward your heels? Yes, hugging in each shoulder blade down from your ears and into the middle of your mat. Feel the shoulder blades hug together and it'll open up the chest for you. The back body says, let me assist. Release on the out breath. Bring your hands to your lower belly. And when you breathe out, let the belly just fall flat like a souffle. When souffles fall flat, they fall. <laughs> let it all fall. Now bring your knees up. And bring the soles of your feet together in front of you. Uh huh. Now you're going to find all four corners of the feet. And when you press the feet, really find right there underneath the um, pinky toe, the ball of the foot, push the heels. Do you feel how that activated your inner thighs? Now squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take your hands behind your head. You're going to pulse up. Keep exhaling when you come up for 10. Nine, elbows out to the sides. And keep your elbows out here. Support your back of your head a little more. Yeah. Push through the feet. When you lose that power in the feet, you'll lose power in the legs, therefore the core. Activate the feet, you activate the legs and the core. Good. Five, four, three, Two, push the feet, push the feet. One, pause here, lay down and pause. Relax the feet. Bring the soles of the feet together again. Hug them toward each other, pulse up. Five, four, three, two, one, five more. Five, four, soles of the feet, push them. Four corners, push them. Keep pushing. I'm going to assist. Yep. Release. Hug your knees to your chest. How'd that feel? <laughs> yeah. Fine. There's still uh, four corners of the feet again. Butterfly them. Mm -hmm. Bring them back up off the floor. We're not quite done. Your chin will tuck to your chest a bit. Your hands are going to be alongside your hips. So it's this action. So it's like your like a stop motion, only we're not going to stop. So the hands are lifted like this at your hips. Yeah. And soles of the feet. Press them into each other. And bring your head to the floor for a moment. Get conscious. Get your attention to the feet. And push the feet together into center line. And automatically your inner thighs pull right into the game. And your core says, let me in on that game. And you're going to pulse up for five, four. Mm -hmm. Like you're pushing like a stop sign. Like you're a crossing guard. Stop. Yep. Push the hands. Two, one. Five more, five, four, push the feet, push the feet, three, two, one. Take your hands right behind your head, lift your feet a little higher, off the ground, a little higher, yep, ankles in line with your knees if you can, yep, push the feet, push the feet, here you go, last ten, here we go, up. Nine, pull up, push the feet together. Your core says, let me in on this and I'll pull the upper body off the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees to your chest. Ah! <laughs> but it's really powerful because it's a pain in the butt when you're really activating the feet at first because you feel like oh I can't hold that but when you really just plug in 
you plug right into legs, and from there the core pulls in, like the, the core activates. Rock side to side. As you exhale, get your belly aching out of the way if you need to. <sighs> Just move the energy. Just move the energy. We uh, take dead bug as I'm speaking. Soles of the feet, shine the ceiling. Get the ankles lined over your knees. Grab onto the backs of your thighs. Yep. Yeah. And let the soles of the feet press like they're pushing very gently against the ceiling. And you'll feel that a little more intensely, no doubt. It's like our mind, if our mind isn't strong, then we have reactions to every little thing. If our mind doesn't feel really strong and centered, then we can get really all caught up in this whole byline of our feeling, sensation, our tension, our tightness. And yoga says, oh, okay, yeah, acknowledge that for a moment because I feel like it validates. If you validate how crappy you feel or how tight you feel or whatever, you're validating it. You're not kicking it to the curb. You're not in denial. You bring it towards you and that energy shifts because I feel like it feels acknowledged. And then because it feels acknowledged in a really validating way, in a heartfelt way, sincere way. And then it just kind of feels better. But if you also think about it, our tension, happy baby, rock side to side. Our tension is where energy gets contracted. And our exhales are the way out and through. So you keep moving those exhalations through and you're shifting energy. And the more you release the exhalations, the more you will create a loosening up in the musculature. But you'll also keep breathing through the places where you're contracted, constricted. It's just where the tension is. And if it's physical, then there's some mental and emotional. You have a thought and feeling about how you're physically feeling for sure. Or if you're mentally and emotionally constricted, you physically feel that for sure. Because they're all, they all correlate. But if you really can use the, the mindset of honor, acknowledge, when you acknowledge something with sincerity, you honor it. And it's really amazing how that energy shifts just as a result. Our stuck places, our hurt places, all that, they just want to be felt with some kindness. And it's nurturing. And I think that quality in itself brings that element of healing. And it's just the empowering that energy to shift. Bring your feet to the floor. <sighs> Hug your knees to your chest again. Tension is just where things are contracted and that means where the energy is not flowing. So yoga bumps up against these contracted places not to persecute us or to punish us or to poison us, but says, here's the stuck place, breathe it in, breathe it out, and it'll free itself. This is why we feel so much better later in the day having done a yoga class, despite what our mind has to say about it initially in our down dog. Roll all the way to your right side. Press your palms into the floor, please. Slowly breathe your way up to seated. Take your legs out in front of you. Open your legs apart really wide in a straddle so the legs are off the mat. Rise up, arms reach, 
Root down into your hips and the backs of your thighs, the backs of your legs. Press them into the floor, even your calves. And then take your right hand to the floor outside your right leg. Push the floor away from you a little bit, small action. Let your exhale lean you to the right. All the way back up on the in-breath. Exhale, left hand down. Push the floor away from you gently. Stretch that right arm over and lean to the left. Your left elbow can hug toward the side of your body. Back up. Arms reach. Interlace your fingers. As you push the palms toward the ceiling, get back to rooting into your lower body. Get anchored in. From there, the spine organically lifts out of the hips. Turn your torso just a little bit to the right, but the exhale twists you. So your torso twists away from that left hip, like that left hip pocket. Back to center, long breath in. Out breath, twist you. So the torso twists away from the right hip. Back to center, root down through the hips and legs. Feel the spine organically go someplace on the up and up. Stretch back a little bit. Look up. Release your hands out in front of you. Come onto your fingertips out in front of you. And just let your head soften. Now just push your hips to the wall behind you. It's a small movement. You can bend your knees as much as you have to. As you fold forward and your body gives you a message about what it feels like. The body communicates through feelings. The body says, here's where you stop. Or, hey, back off a little more from where you are right now. And you listen. And when you listen, the body feels heard and respected. And it feels valued. But the mind's always trying to shove off and get someplace else and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let it go in one ear and out the other. Take my instruction into both ears. Take my instruction with you as you let your exhale move through. Listen how your body responds as you fold a little more forward. No bouncing. Quiet, slow, even breaths out and in. The yoga mat is one of the most awesome places to really tune into your body. Let it speak. TV isn't in the room. Other people we live with aren't in the room. Honking horns aren't in this room. Let your body speak to you in that space that you've created. And really tune in. The messages of the body are very simple, straightforward. And just usually a few words. But when we're in our surface mind, we can't tune in like that. Not quite. Everything on the outside demands that our attention and to be heard first. But I'm learning that if you just drop into yourself and really listen... The way your communication is set up the rest of the day comes from a place of deeper listening. More from your soul really taking in, not just a surface mind that's scattered and usually has a TV in the background. Bring yourself up to seated. Bring your legs out in front of you. Sit up tall, inhale. 
As you fold forward, your left hand comes outside your right leg. Your right hand comes alongside your hip. And you then just take a little twist. You're just real simple. The left ear, shoulder, lung press toward the ground. Inhale, slowly inhale back up. Right arm, outside left leg. Right lung, right shoulder, right ear presses. Little baby twist. Pressing your hips and tailbone back. Spine moves out a little more in front of you. Away from the seat of the hips. And as you drop in, it's like you get a front row seat to your soles. Dialogue. Come on up. Bring yourself into a comfortable seated position. And just let your palms face the ceiling. You can let your fingertips curl in toward the middle of your palms. Let your eyes close and really drop in. As I started freeing my exhalations, I felt myself dropping in. And I believe it's because I could drop the breath deeper into my body. Like if you think of your body like a well, and when you're not breathing much or smoothly or with ease, then you can only drop in to a surface, top level. As you open up the body and free tension and move energy, you organically create room for the breathing to fill up the rooms of your body, the house for your soul. But as you drop the breath deeper into the body, just think of it like you're dropping the breath deeper into the well. And then notice how much more fulfilled you feel from the inside out. Drop the breath deeper into the well. Bring your palms together to your heart. Acknowledge the breath being dropped deeper into the well. Notice how much better that physically, mentally, and emotionally feels. Where yoga fills you up from the inside out. So you're more fulfilled on the inside of you which means you have that much more to offer and to share. But from a deeply restorative place, peaceful place, hopeful, open, enthusiastic, at peace with where you've been and it really open to where you're going. Namaste. You're welcome. Do you feel like we shifted? Great. So could you get that image of dropping further into the well? Just keep letting the breath move down, 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 and that's when you're really letting that image drop, drop, drop in a really leveled out way. You feel really leveled out. You look really leveled out in a good way, though, not in a edgy way. You don't look leveled out like, oh, I can't take another thing. You look leveled out like, a, oh, okay, I've collected myself again.
I really love the witnessing um, of how you're really starting to open up the chest and how you're really starting, the shoulders are starting to get looser because I'm watching the shoulders respond to my instruction cues. Before it was like the shoulder was frozen, but now we kind of open things up a little and it stayed with you and so it's allowing you to expand more and just let things move out of the way on their own. Nice, that's fantastic. You're welcome. And the other thing too is that um, the uh, yoga 